Donovan Woods, you know, award winner last night. Congratulations. Uh, we were outside, and I came over to say hi and congratulations. What yeah. did you say to me? I said, uh, well, I said, I recognize you from photos of country stars visiting your radio station. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for that. That was fun. I, I like to look at the, the photos of country stars coming around, and I like to think about whether it's an ad or not. <laughs> you know, awesome. I, I see the, the vibe of the picture, and I go, that's an ad right there. That's a, that's a, that's a power rotation ad right there. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. Uh, again, congratulations on the award last night. Um, what does this do for you? Um, you know, it's like another reason to exist. It, like, the, for, the mo for the most part, it just is like our momentum doesn't get stalled. And we feel like we can, we feel like we are deserving of bigger shows and pushing forward and uh, bigger hopes and bigger ambitions, really. I mean, that's all it means. But it's, it's, it's like just a mile marker, hopefully, on the way to something else. And it, but it feels really good, obviously. Would you say it's a vindication of what you're doing? Yeah, I think so. I think, like, you know, one of my favorite quotes is by this writer who says... That, to be a writer, you have to be okay without ever knowing whether you're any good. You have to die without knowing. And if you're not okay with that, you shouldn't do it. And so I would think that all the time, but I, I, it's nice that there's little things like this that can validate the thing that you're doing and make you feel like it's, like it's important. Yeah. And it opens up some doors for you, too, I would think. Yeah, probably. Probably does. I mean, but you got enough doors open already. Yeah, there's maybe a few too many doors as it is. So, but, but really? Yeah, I mean, in a way, sometimes, yeah too much to do sometimes. Which is pretty cool. I mean, again, you mentioned last night, I'm glad you reminded me that, I mean, you got uh, another cut with Chad Brownlee that's on the radio right now. So congrats yeah. on that. Yeah, thank you. I love that song. And Chad, I was there when he sang it, and we watched him sing the, sh the hell out of it. And uh, he's, you know, that guy, he grips it and rips it, that dude. So it's great. So are you pretty cool with uh, the award being presented last night? So now you get to sit and watch the show and, and just and just kind of kind of look at those, yeah. those others that are going to go up there yeah. and win and say, yeah, I know what you're feeling. As soon as this whole red carpet is over, I'm going to have a real chill time and just sit and watch and enjoy for sure. Yeah. Pretty cool. You also told a story too last night about getting beat up at one point. Oh yeah. You want you want to repeat that? Well, yeah, I got beat up, but I mean, not in any real way, just in a fun, drunk kid way. You know what I mean? Where you get beat up and you fall and you go, ah, let's get out of here. But yeah, London was like, we had dicey nights here on Richmond Row, as I'm sure that you know is customary for university kids. So I did that. I did that too. Pretty cool, man. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it so much. Thanks.